Hello everybody and welcome back to Vampire. Before I start with this, I really have to say something that I'm proud of. First off, just past 600 subs. Woo woo! Secondly, in some recent videos you might have heard my chair has been super squeaky and shit. Listen to it now. You could barely hear a thing. It's a new chair! It sounds so nice not having to like hear a squeak when I go like, Oh, saves me a lot of editing if too. Swansea is not my attacker. It means somebody okay. else came here tonight. I hope I live long enough to see them something. So now we're interrogating locals to find out Evening, sir. what they know about the person that came through here. Well, if you must. I want the truth. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel this lady your doesn't fear, know shit. Madam. Please tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. Who? He came in here earlier tonight and he. Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. All right, keep talking about. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? It would have been very helpful information. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Okay, you've just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. Press tab to open citizen's menu. Tom Watts. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood, the blood quality bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed on this citizen. Unlock hints, increase your amount of XP. Okay, so that's how much XP I'll gain if I drink from him. He's got a lot of hints. So do I just go feeding off people that I meet? Is that how this works? Okay. Uh, that's Dyson. Yeah, he's worth shit. He's fatigued, so that's 30% loss of blood quality. How nice. What about this bitch? I'd love to feed off her. 1500? Okay. Um. Still don't know what this means. Okay, Tom. Tommy Tom Tom Tom. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? Yes, I can't say you. I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. As a vampire, you can face a citizen and reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Blue prompt. Okay. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, am I, Will came why am I talking tonight, like that? But he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash of torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Why would you not tell me about him the first time I came in here? That would have been so helpful. Can I feed off Tom? Are they stupid or something? I can't. Damn it. Okay, track the killer, inspect the boats. Oh, God. Can I teleport? Teleport. Alright, I guess I gotta walk. Thanks for almost nothing, everyone. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? Okay. Uh, Tom? Nope. Uh, Will. That's your name. Inspect the boats. What am I looking for? Oh, blood. And the a body. body. Is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This would be a 
bad place to live in if people are dying every day. Uh, outfit. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Against what? Pick up a note. What's this? Some sort of note. Right when orders. Okay, was he at a vampire under? 30th of October from G. McCollum Mc to Doc Patrols. Object Multiple deaths in the Doc's region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast, purge it, and quickly. Warning According to recent reports, the vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the cause. I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search the abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, and warehouses. Destroy the leech brothers. So I'm guessing this leech you're talking about These is men. the sewer dog. They're a company of professional vampire hunters. Yeah, you would have thought you would figure that out from the first note you read. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Okay. Examine the boat. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Move on. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Where? Over there? What? Okay, what's the button? So, follow the footprints. Yet again. Follow the blood trail from the pier. What pier? This pier? Where's, oh, over there. Woo! Alright, western docks. T. Oh. Okay, we got Prawins. They are gonna try and hurt me. I'm gonna hurt them first, though. Can you stealth? Opportunity attack. Press F out of combat, silently behind an enemy. Damn it. I don't know how to crouch. Am I out of combat? What was this guy checking? Ooh, bullets. Yes. Equip and press right click to use your ranged weapons to inflict both standard damage and stun damage. Be aware that your ammo is limited. Great. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I fit. How do I equip? How, how are you equipped? It doesn't tell me. Oh, here we go. Okay, now, how do I switch? Can I switch? Is G? How do I switch off hands? Oh, damn it. I should really look at the key bindings for this game. Oh, here we go. Z and C. Okay. There we go. You know, you think you would aim and then shoot. Okay. Uh, enemy card. Press V to spot enemies around and display their enemy cards. Okay. I already did this. Some enemies are more resilient to certain types of damage. There are four types of damage. Uh, Alright, four types of resistances. Physical melee, ranged, powers, blood, and shadow. Orange indicates a medium resistance. Red indicates a high resistance. So, this guy is highly resistant to ranged. But not blood. Okay. Uh, I think that's just the thing for this guy. Spear! Oh, shit, the other guy just died. Uh, oh my god! Give me your fucking blood, dude. Yep. Very resilient. That guy was not at all. My god, that guy fucked me up. Alright, more bullets and shillings. Could I... No, I can't pull out that guy's card. I should have still all what his was. If it was blood, it was very fast. Okay, ranged... Yeah, they're both prone to blood, I think. 
Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, blood. Oh, there's another one. Ow. Oh, I'm out of stamina. How do you dodge? Was that it? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ah, oh, fire. No. Vampire no like fire. Suck your blood. I'm gonna suck you again. How you like that? Come here. Yummy. Oh, fuck. I didn't even see that guy. It's an archer. You know what? Get shot. Oh my god. Get shot again. That works a lot better than you would think. You're still alive. There you go. Alright. Ooh, shotgun shells? There's a shotgun? I gotta get that. Ooh. Uh, I'm good on health and blood. I'll eat you anyway. Thank you. Blood. You don't say. Okay. The new practices, new tactics. Okay. Why didn't that read? I know that some of our companions consider the best advantage we have in our fight against the leeches is that they can't go out during the day. Thus, we hunt them down when they hide, powerless in their sleep. This is a rookie mistake, first because vampires are clever, yes we are, and they have countless ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den, second because they deploy manual, many deadly traps to kill any intruders in what they consider their most precious sanctuary, well he's now known to set traps. It would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they are really vulnerable. When they hunt at night, it is much easier to attack them than for they can be easily spotted. That's why the Guard of Prywin must evolve and deploy new tactics to hunt leeches, small and mobile patrols, tactics based on technological advances, modern communications. You can learn many things from the war in France, new strategy, new equipment, and new weaponry. Grenades, wall phosphorus, white phosphorus, ultraviolet light, bulletproof vest, and flamethrower. It is time for the guard to embrace the 20th century from a new war by Jeffrey McCollum, Prywin leader. Okay. So they only hunt vampires at night because they think we're smart. Okay. Well, I'm not that smart. Bullets and chillings. And can I take a shotgun? Aluminum shard. Like one of these guys had a shotgun. Can I just take it? That would be so much helpful. All right. Rats and hideouts. Rats are often located okay near hideouts. Is this the hideout? Oh, it is. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought that was a shotgun. Common handle part and lead plates. Okay, um, does this have crafting? I want to see something. Uh, oh, here we go. Alright, so if I want to upgrade this gun. Oh, wait, can I upgrade the machete? Uh, you can upgrade your weapons to, to a new level with the acquired ingredients. It will inflict more damage and you will also gain access to customization slots. Okay. So, I can make that? Okay, the bottom right is how many I have. Nailed it. Work in progress. Yes, it is. Okay, and I need more ingredients for these. Increase damage dealt by 10% or decrease stamina by 10%. Okay, I can, upgrade, I can upgrade the stake too. Or the firearm, because this has many upgrades. Uh, no. I need springs and trigger parts. Okay. Uh, also, I'm going to sleep quick just so I can level up. I don't think time actually passes. I don't think that's actually a thing. Uh... Increase the damage inflicted when using bite in combat, or increase your life regeneration when using bite in combat. Increase your health, increase your stamina, increase your blood capacity, increase your blood absorption when using bite. Alright, now let's get more health. Oh. Oh, that's a lot. 
Those are a lot more upgrades than I thought. Also, how do I see how many points I have? Does it tell me? I have no idea. Okay, well, let's just do stamina two. Oh, there it is. Top right. I thought that was how much XP I had. Now I get it. Uh, is there anything I can do for 170? Okay, uh, I think we're good for now. The following night. I guess the time does pass. Hopefully those guys don't respawn. Hopefully they're still dead. I hear someone talking. Doesn't look like they're down here though. Alright, keep following the blood trail. Fresh blood. That's a lot of blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Wow, blood makes you dizzy, huh? Alright. What is this? Ooh, a scythe. A two-handed weapon. Equip the two-handed weapon and press right-click to use its special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used on to parry an incoming attack, inflicting heavy stun damage if timed correctly. Alright, and does that just open the door? Alright, let's, let's use a scythe. How do I... Is it Z? Oh, I have to equip it. Right. Right. I forgot. Scythe. And Z. Oh, that's a... How big is this? Am I using the scythe or am I using, like, vampire powers? Or both? Okay. This place reeks of bloodshed. Can't use my thing. Where is everyone? Hello? This creature is bedeviled. Hi. Must put it down. Oh, what is that? How's it going, pal? It's a boss fight. I want to try and use the parry. Come on. Okay. Use it. Ow. Use it very fast. Damn it. Come on. Oh, it's William. Ow. Okay, screw this. Where's my gun? Did I unequip it? Uh-oh. Oh, what's happening? I can't see. Bad William. Spear. Suck on your blood. Oh. Blood. Oh, wrong way. What did that do? Did that... That's healing me? Alright, let's go back to the scythe. Parry. Nope. Oh, I, that costs a lot of stamina. I shouldn't do that as much. Ah, <laughs> really? I'm just gonna try and kill you. I'm done trying to parry. Oh, that was it. Damn, that worked a lot. Great. Let's try that again. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, I am that good. Alright, let's finish you off. A used bludgeon. Hello. Are you okay, sir? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, priest? Are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul. A kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. Was a doctor. Suffering from shock. Uh oh. Return to my flock. They stray without me. Who's that? Hello. Remember, certain scowls are every bit as resistant as we are. Scowls. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. Was she the I woman that uh, the guy was talking to, Swansea? Are. are you? Like me, can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. I mean, more than that. Okay, she's a vampire. Thank you. Okay, uh, Mr. Priestess, dude, uh, let's go. 
priestess? Is that female priest? Is there a female priest? Who is that? Swansea? Where'd you come from? Patience, good fellows. I've come to offer help. Well, thank you. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. Just give me a blanket. I just be need fine. a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding. So what is he the the sewer dog? Is that what happened? Okay, William, you've killed a lot of people in here. My God, this poor creature can't be my blood maker. sample of William Bishop. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must uh, find a place to analyze the blood. Is there anything else I can check? No, she went up there. I can't follow. Okay. I'm good. At dawn we ro- What? At dawn we row. So... Why was he like a ghoul vampire? Or like crazy vampire? He said something about his thirst was... He needed thirst or something? Is it like if you drink too much or if you don't drink enough? That's what you become? Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. Okay. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? I know you what know woman? her. Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. <laughs> Doc, you gotta start coming clean with me. From the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where Yay. you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stoll, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. So my name is Johnny Reed. You are Dr. Or John Reed. Reed. Yes, sir, Jonathan Reed. Some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Glad to meet a fan. Have we Even met? if it's now that I'm a vampire. Three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again. From a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us... The Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And how about you start explaining it? Because I am lost. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother, but alas, that was before contracting this affliction. And then killing my sister. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, 
What do you say? Do I have a choice? It seems I have little choice, but yours That's is not. a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. If you say so. And yeah, can I please get cleaned up? I've been in like this blood-soaked shirt for days. Really. I slept like three times. Alright, so, got a new job, new powers. I'm getting there. Almost making my way up in the world. Lindsay, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Is that me? It must be me. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Wow. Yes, what a bitch. I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. She oh, is Dorothy. probably soaked in more yes, blood Doctor. than I am. Doctor Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King. That's a nice coat. Will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That I'm a vampire. News indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the God, staff that our ship can sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Don't say that. Okay. Goodbye. So... Let's explore. This is a nice suit. Take me to a hospital. Analyze William Bishop's blood in the hospital. You can do it's my turn. Who are those guys? Oh, what the hell? Why is this more red? Did I use my sense? I'm like, what's wrong with me? Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. I will. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. This guy's a bit of a bitch. Insult me again, and I'll put an end to your misery right now. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spill it out onto the street, and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Okay, the blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher blood quality, the more XP you get. Is it giving me the option to uh, take the blood from Mr. Clay here? Uh, to drink the blood of your prey, first you, first you need to memorize them to lead them out of sight from others. Oh, you need to mem mesmerize. Your mesmerize level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Press Q to mesmerize Mr. Clay. Or Clay. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Follow the red trail to lead your prey into the shadows. Clay, you're gonna get fucked. Blood temptation. Press left click to embrace Clay Cox or spacebar to release him. Embracing Clay will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learn more about citizens by and collecting their hints will increase your experience gained. Mm. I don't know what this red bar means, or like the red 
aura? Like, if I release him, will it still be there or will it go away? Just take a bite. Bastard. Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. Ooh, I got his hatchet. I'll Thanks, Clay. You. You. Am I talking to me? Okay, uh, I guess I'll leave that body. That was fun. Alright, two springs. Nice. So, okay, what the hell's up with this aura? Go back to the clean zone. I have no idea what this... Why it's doing that. I don't know if it's a thing like where you like need to drink blood every so often or not. I don't know. There's still a thing on... How do I get... Erase markers. Why is it still there? Where is this marker at? You. Go away. Thank you. Uh, okay, yeah, let's examine this stuff. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. Yeah, don't worry about it. I was just sucking the blood from someone. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Hey, I want to check there's a body downstairs. Do? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. You weren't Welcome like related to, to Jonathan Crane, are you? Office has been prepared. You don't like involved with fear or anything. Uh, do I know anything about you? Ooh, that's good blood quality. Uh, should I see if she can give me any info? How come this is all changing? Oh, it's because it's a different district. Got it. Are there only four districts? That's actually not a lot. All right. Let's ask her a I few would like questions. To ask a few questions first. Uh, how is the dude? And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The whole thing was in quite a state of shock. Okay. Uh, who is that doc? What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. I mean, we met like 10 minutes ago. Uh, he knows me more than I know him. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Okay. Uh, I've only just met him. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Okay. Uh, where's my room at? If you could point me in the direction of my room again. I know where she said it was like second floor. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Can you draw like a map or something? You lost me at second floor. Okay, Thank goodbye. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Alright, uh, hello. Who are you? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks. The ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt. Do we have cars in this time period? Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh, really? Ooh, we could trade? I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. 
A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Hey, another merchants. A shotgun. Ooh. I don't have nearly enough for oh. Wrong what? Let's talk again. Good evening. Good evening, Doc. Let's go back to that. Um I could sell stuff. What? No, back. I could sell parts. I could sell ammo. I could sell junk. A wedding ring. Where did I get that from? Oh, it belonged to Clay. <laughs> um. The shotgun looks so good, but it's so expensive. Damn it. Uh, you can also sell parts. Tiny common handle part. Okay. Well, thanks for nothing. Let's talk about good some evening, other stuff. Uh, your life in London. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, how's the situation? How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. All right. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. All right. Uh, you're an ambulance driver. Just so what talk do you about do that exactly anyway. In this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... Too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Oh, good for you. Medical checkup? Effort. What does that mean? Uh... What? I'm not sure what that means. I could try to mesmerize him. He's a level 2. Oh, that's what that means. Got it. Damn. That means, like, Swansea's like a level 6 mesmerized person. Okay. That's Clay. He's been embraced. I could probably suck the blood from everybody if I get it high enough. How do I get a higher mesmerize? It's probably when I sleep. It'll tell me. Uh. How is the station. What? So Sanitary situation. Since you're on the front, I don't know why I can get that word out. How is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. I know, especially if they think you're a vampire. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday, I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left. An infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Okay. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Ooh, a new investigation. Uh. Okay, so I definitely need a hint to talk about something else with him. Are you Probably really info from other people. Hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. Well, it's a good thing neither of us are cops. Okay, thank you for everything, Milton. Oh, wait, that was just your life in London. That's some personal... Oh, that's a lot of hints required. Okay, never mind. Goodbye. Good talking to you. Alright, so is that the face? Is that the... Yep. Alright, let's go check out my place. My bed. Or my office. What is this? Eh, city. Eh, Mew. Eh, life is saved by efficient medical aid. It is a blow struck to the ant. Eh, a flu epidemic. Volunteers make the difference. Read for you. Dr. Swansea okay. is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. They wouldn't suspect I'm a vampire. Prevent disease. Careless spitting, sneezing, coughing, spreading influenza, spreading by droplets, sprayed from the nose and throat. Do not cough in public. I cough every time in public. That's only when I cough. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to try and talk to anyone because I'm just going to... I just always want to get all the info out of them. I will have a loot. Cheap gin and small bottle. Nice. Uh, Dr. Reed. This must be the place. Sweet. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. Okay, before I examine the sample... I won't be sleeping in a coffin. That'd probably be more comfy. For you, at least. I do want to see... If I can level up the memory. 
mesmerizing. I don't see it anywhere. Uh, maybe the more you do it, the more it goes up? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not here anywhere. Okay, well, let's go back and I'm gonna leave this part here. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to do it down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next part. Now the game's starting to pick up base. We're actually doing something. Goodbye.